this Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. I am Farah Bates, the night's edition of News and Depth. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Here's what you need to know. Family needs help for toddler to undergo surgery who was born without anus hole. Here is Tracy Khan with the details. Looking at this handsome little face filled with life, hope and innocence, you may think he is as healthy as most children his age should be. But baby Emmanuel Rampersad has been suffering since birth after his mother discovered that he was born with an imperforated anus where there is no anal opening in the body. This is a birth defect or problem that happens as an unborn baby is developing during pregnancy. A surgery was done on Emmanuel shortly after birth, according to his mother, Nadina Rampersad. I want to appeal to the general public out there who is listening to me live on ear. Um, it has been a very painful situation for the past 17 months because he born the 6th of January, 2018. And after he born, he born the Saturday. And Sunday, wrong three o'clock, I discovered a little mess on his napkin, but I didn't know exactly where it was coming from. So when I wiped, I noticed there were no opening there. And everything I see spilled through his penis. He's just 17 months old and continues to suffer more than most people can understand. But now that the United States-based nonprofit organization Saving Hands Emergency Aid, Shea has taken his case, his mother is more hopeful than ever that her son will be able to live a normal life. Because he gets up crying, crying for pain. I know he in pain and the area, how it looks when he cry, it swell up, get fat and he's now and then getting fever so sometimes gotta end up and carry over to base hospital and get other treatment till he didn't hospitalize for two days end up and he turned fine 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 and when i asked the doctor what happened she said infection and that he dehydrated and they said due to the cholesterol area that he has um he been losing a lot of nutrients so nothing much will really stay in the body so he's born like that? Yeah. No, when he born, the anus didn't open. So they had to make an exit in bringing out the small intestine. And the small intestine, a cholesterol bag is attached to it. Shea is working to take baby Emmanuel to the United States for surgery but needs your help to make this happen. And the baby's mother is hoping that kind-hearted members of the public will step in and help to save and change her son's life for the better. So enough nights and days I sit down and I cry because I say, God, I don't know what is happening. Why is it that I'm getting this hard time? And every time I go to clinic with him and I tell the doctor what is happening with him, she turns and she tells him that is normal, that no need for put cholesterol me back, use a pampers. And it's the pampers that I use on him and this will help to irritate the area and get the area infected. She works with the Ministry of Health as a health care attendant in Sophia and has four other children who are all healthy and strong. Tracy Can reporting. More news after the break. Stay with us. The Ghana Elections Commission will commence house-to-house -house registration in your area soon. You must register if you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or registration. 14 years and older by the 31st of October 2019, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the qualifying date. If you were previously registered, you will need to register again. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to get registered. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website, www.gcom.org.gy.
get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. why you must register registration is a legal requirement according to the national registration act chapter 1908 persons who do not register can be charged and fined along with imprisonment getting registered has two main benefits for eligible citizens national identification and the opportunity to participate in the voting process after registration you will receive a national identification card a national identification card may be used to vote at an election, identify oneself when transacting business or seeking employment, transact business at the bank, obtain old age pension, secure a driver's license, transact business at a post office, secure a loan, conduct a higher purchase transaction, obtain a police clearance, collect national insurance benefits, apply for a passport, apply for a TIN certificate. Don't miss the chance to get registered. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to register. For more information, contact GCOM on 22502779 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit the website at www.gcom.org.gy. Welcome back. Rose Hall Mayor calls on rates and tax defaulters to pay up. More in this report. But the payment of those taxes have been very poor to the Rose Hall municipality. Speaking with this news guest, Mr. Chatigun Ramnat, Mayor of Rose Hall Thung, said that the rates and taxes payments over the past months have affected the work of the council. He said the council depends on those funds to improve public infrastructure. We projected 70% of collection. And so far, we only received like about 33%. And being that this is the month of June, July, the taxpayer them are coming very, very slowly. The last, last month for the month of June, we hardly collect anything tangible. Ramnath said there are no payment plans in place as yet, but the council will have to decide on one soon in order to get those outstanding monies owed to them. And the amount of money that we are collecting from the market is hardly enough to pay wages and salaries. The mayor said although the taxation is not their only source of income, it is still an important source seeing that there are many potholes that need to be fixed and drains that need to be cleaned. Another issue of concern to the mayor is the garbage situation. He said the garbage collection has greatly improved. These defaulters now are targeting vacant lots. Although we provide bins, we go actually every day after to collect garbage. And he is concerned about the unlawful disposal of garbage, even though the council has provided bins. 
The mayor also said there are still some persons who target the empty lands at the roadsides and corner streets. SAC police superintendent back on job 10 years after he was wrongfully dismissed. Here is Russell Drake from the city with this report. Chairman of the Police Service Commission Paul Slow said it was an easy decision for the commission to reinstate SAC superintendent of police Simeon Magbin. This was after the Court of Appeal ruled that Magbin was wrongfully dismissed 10 years ago after it was alleged that he took unauthorized leave to pursue his master's degree. McBean is back on the job after he expressed a willingness to return to the Guyana Police Force. He's doing so at the same rank he held when he was dismissed. The negotiation between Mr. McBean through his attorney and the Attorney General's chambers and they decided that they had no objection um, to the reinstatement. So we as a commission decided that the correct thing to do um, was to reinstate McBean after he indicated that he would be willing to um, return to the um, police force and to continue to serve. It's unclear if Mark Bean will be promoted anytime soon. The Guyana Police Force's last promotion was held in December last year. Uh, police Service Commission um, do, do promotions. Well, we did promotions in um, December. We are hoping, we're still hoping to do promotions uh, for the fourth anniversary month. That is this month, July. And um, we wait on the recommendations. Um, from the commissioner. Why you must register. Registration is a legal requirement according to the National Registration Act, Chapter 1908. Persons who do not register can be charged and fined along with imprisonment. Getting registered has two main benefits for eligible citizens, national identification and the opportunity to participate in the voting process. After registration, you will receive a National Identification Card. A National Identification Card may be used to vote at an election, identify oneself when transacting business or seeking employment, transact business at the bank, obtain old age pension, secure a driver's license, transact business at a post office, secure a loan, conduct a higher purchase transaction, obtain a police clearance, collect national insurance benefits, apply for a passport, apply for a TIN certificate. Don't miss the chance to get registered. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to register. For more information, contact GCOM on 22502779 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit the website at www.gcom.org.gy. I sell swaggerific. Spaniard me like swaggerific. I Spaniard. West star give me a hand on the whole place. Turn up, 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 turn I don't business if you're not on time. You must always have stag in the line. Well, everybody have a stag in the hand. Where's my Stagerman's beer? The new Guyana School welcomes you to become a part of our family. We want to ensure that you are ready to be employed by both local and international companies who now require the em that employees have a basic knowledge of occupational safety and health. Hi, I'm Robert Chen Hong, and it has been my pleasure to be the Occupational Safety and Health Instructor here at the New Ghana School, which has delivered quality educational instruction for the last 25 years. As Guyana continues to grow its industrial sector, it has become critical that persons receive the training necessary to help prevent incidents and injuries in the workplace. The basics of occupational safety and health, which is registered with the National Accreditation Council of Guyana, will provide you with this necessary training. Jet Racing Committee presents Breeders' Cup 2019 fundraising event with a spectacular car and bike show. Come see who wins bragging rights for the best vehicular sound system, best paint job, best looking vehicle among other categories. Bring your entire family for a day of thrills, fun, and excitement 
as they engage in other fun activities including donkey racing, catch the greasy pig, and the slippery pole on Sunday 14th July at the Bush Lot Turf Club. Music by TRS, photographs by www.hotspotgy.com. This event is powered by the Jumbo Racing Team Committee and Banks DIH. Drink responsibly, 18 and older. I say you know that cabinet approves proposal to remove custodial sentences for 30 grams or less of marijuana. Some members of the Rastafarian community are related this evening following the proposal by the David Granger government to remove custodial sentences for 30 grams or less of marijuana. The proposal was approved by cabinet after extensive discussions and review, a release from the Ministry of the Presidency said. According to the release, cabinet has approved a proposal to remove custodial sentences for persons found to be in possession of 30 grams or less of marijuana. Possession remains an offense, however, persons will not be sentenced to terms of imprisonment as obtained in the past. The Ministry of the Presidency release added that this is the first of several steps that the government intends to take as it considers the recently submitted Caribbean Community Report on the usage of marijuana and, in particular, usage by our Rastafarian brothers and sisters who required it for use in their worship and sacrament. With that, we've come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a news story or tip, you can contact us on 666-4337 or 654-0523. You can also visit our website at www.rdproductiongy.com or on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Royce and Drake's Production for more details on these and other stories. Join us again tomorrow night for more news. I am Firebates. Good night.